Hello Libra, thank you for joining me, Sandra at Wolf Moon Tarot. This is a reading that's going to cover the energies around the 11th to the 17th of May, um, but timing is fluid so it can be a little bit beyond that time frame um, or whenever you uh, tune into this reading, Libra. I have already done a meditation um, concerning your sign. Um, and this reading, so and a pre-shuffle, so this is just a final shuffle. Here we go. And we'll see what the universe energies want to say to you today. And remember that the energies are very benevolent and they want the best for you, Libra. I'm putting to one side, the one from the bottom of each pack, and that's the extra information that um, the universe wants to give to you at the end of the reading. So, um, Libra, what's at the heart of your reading? Well, we have, right, okay, we have, this is from the heart part of the deck. Now, although the actual words say rejoice in celebration, for me, when this three of cups comes out this is about a third party situation now that can either be the um, normal or the usual meaning of a third party situation which is um, a, a third part a third person uh, within or coming in between um, a relationship um, it can but it can also be about an addiction or an obsession or a preoccupation um, from either party um, that is coming in between um, a rela the relationship. Sometimes it, it could be um, a, a friend that comes in the middle, it could be um, something else um, that comes um, and interferes with a relationship or uh, blocks um, the, con the um, connections with a relationship. So however it resonates with you, Libra, they're all the different scenarios. But for me, when this card comes out, that's the meaning um, I have for this card. So there's, there's, there's something happening that a third party situation um, that is impacting or has impacted upon um, with you. Right. So here we have the sorrow card as a clarifier for that. Um, and this means taking time, you know, that... Being sad for what's gone, being sad for what's happened. Um, but it, it, this particular card, this is from the um, the Buddhist part of, of the deck, and, and it's about the mind as well. So it's what's in our mind. So we're feeling, you're feeling great sorrow. Um, however, sometimes out of these situations, it can become a great enlightenment, um, a new, a new. You can be able to see more clearly a new way forward. All right, so take it how it resonates with you, Libra. Um, and there's a need for you to have rest, rest and recuperation. Um, the dolphins are playing in the water. It's beautiful, fiery energy in the sky. There's an oasis here. Um, but this, the, the message of this card is about rest and recuperation. Right. So challenges. Well, this is from the earth part of the deck. Let me just have a little, a quick look. Okay. So this is from the earth part of the deck, and this is about prosperity, about working with somebody else or with others to, for, to create, to, for abundance, for income, career, work, whatever it means to you. And you see here the tree has grown um, from a peach, a nut that's been buried in the ground, it's got good roots, 
there's been a harvest of peaches. Um, so there's something about working together and, and, and with and prosperity being linked to that. Um, but this is the challenge, you see. So this is in the challenge area. So there's there's a challenge connected to this energy, to this card. And it's all about change. So this this major arcana in this deck, this shows that almost like a whirlwind, a tornado going round and round. And um, signs of the zodiac on the extremes and then the elemental elementals a little bit nearer to the centre. And right in the centre, you've got the yin and, yin and the yang um, energy and, and, and it's more calm. So what this is saying is that this time of turbulent change, don't be on the outside where it's so turbulent. Go on the inside. Try to go inside. Try to go on to the inside where it's more calm and peaceful and where you can think more clearly. So at these times of change, find that quiet time to go within so where you can think more clearly. Right. Um, reflection, yes, time of reflection. Um, this is showing the, uh, it's a night time, it's wolves, uh, wolves larring to the moon, there's the moon. Um, and the, water, the wolf is standing in water, which is about um, our psychic, our psyche but it's also about our emotions so it's a time and also we can we can see our reflection in water can't we so but this is a time of um reflecting on what has been and what has gone and where we are at the moment go go with come away from the turbulence and the dramas and try to go within find a quiet place to reflect all right um on what this prosperity beginning card means for you but these are the challenges for you to be able to do that. So what's in your power? What's going on? What's in your energy centre at the moment? Well, here we have the emotional loss card. So at your centre was the, the third party situation. Um, and now within your power, within your energy, we've got um, emotional loss. You're feeling a sadness, a feeling a sadness of loss of something. All right, you're holding your heart there. This is about heartache and heartbreak. So what we have here is um, to help. What's in your power to help with this is about ordinariness. So you, it's about doing things that are ordinary, doing things that are calm, peaceful. If you go for a walk in the countryside, pick the flowers and embrace, hug a tree if you want to. Um, but it's doing things that are ordinary, uh, going about your daily life, make a cup of tea, make a meal, um, ring somebody up, have a chat, everything that's ordinary in day-to-day -day life, just to lift you out of this emotional loss energy, just to deflect you for a little while from this feeling. And, um, and then we've got purification. So this is about the power of water in our life. When we stand near a, a waterfall, for example, Libra, we feel the energy of that, um, the energy of that, that, that pouring water, the power of it. Um, so this is about having a bath, taking a shower. Even if it's raining, go out into the rain and just feel how that feels, the energy of how that feels. Also, when we have a shower, it washes away the, the muck and grime from us, doesn't it? When it rains, it, it washes away the top surface, gets rid of the grit on the path, um, waters the, the garden. So, you know, this is about the, um, the, the place that water has and running water has in your life. Go near a stream, go near the river, go near a lake, go near a reservoir um, and just feel the energy, absorb the energy from that. And then what else is in your power at the moment? So this is from the heart part of the deck again. Now, going forward, this is saying choose wisely. So let me have a look. Choose wisely. This is like the Swiss Army knife um, with all of the different, the hands coming out from the centre, pointing in different ways, in different directions. But there's one hand, finger pointing towards the sun. You've got the spirit birds there flying um, trying to give you a hand, guide you, if you like, and a way forward. So this is asking you to think carefully, take time out and think before you go 
before you choose which way you're going forward. And I think this is to do with matters of the heart. But it doesn't have to be. Um, right, you're feeling quite exhausted at the moment with all of this, Libra. Um, you see the man there is surrounded with machinery, is is on guard. Um, he, he's absolutely exhausted. He's been in the wars um, and he's battered and bruised and feeling very exhausted. So, you know, you do need to look after yourself and take time out, nurture yourself, um, take, you know, um, talk to somebody if you need to talk to somebody about how you're feeling. But you need to have a break, you need to take time out and have some peace, peace and quiet. Um, and then this is about, and yes, and so recharging your energy, um, whether you're doing yoga, meditating, um, sitting, having a bath, um, balancing your chakras, listening to a meditation, guided meditation. So we need you need to balance your energies. At the minute, they're all over the place. Um, that's why you're so exhausted. So um, if you can find um, a guided meditation to do with um, med uh, balancing your um, chakra centers, that's going to really help you, Libra. So the outcome card at this time is your sacral chakra. So this is about your um, energy center, about your creativity, your needs and desires and wants, if you like. See all the orange in the in in the in the picture. So this is about um, concentrating on your desires and your needs. Um, perhaps they've been a bit out of balance, and perhaps you, you know they've been, or perhaps that's a dominant factor at the moment. Um, your desires and needs are dominating the situation for you at the moment. So take it how it resonates with you, Libra. So here we have the third party card again connected to that. So desires and needs, the third party situation. Again, I think I've already talked about um, the, uh, what the third party card means and what it can mean. So it's come out as an outcome for you connected to the sacral chakra, which is about your deniers desires and needs and passions and creativity so there's definitely a third party situation um around you or within you take it how it resonates with you libra so this is a time of transformation so this is the phoenix rising up from the ashes so you've been pretty flat you've been pretty you've you've been raised to the ground you're feeling like you've just flattened but you are transforming libra you are transforming you're going to rise up like the phoenix from the ashes rising up anew all right so very positive card to finish with there so what what would the universe like to say to you you're going to go forward triumphantly okay you're going forward triumphantly this is a major arcana this is a chariot card in ordinary tarot so this is charging forward triumphantly you're going to be very successful um going forward you're going to be experiencing something so quite unique. Um, so particularly if you go into nature, you know, hug a tree, um, absorb nature, you're going to exchange energy with nature. You're going to really experience that. It's going to be so good for you, Libra, at this time. Um, and then we have the magician card. So this is about your ability to manifest your reality going forward. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely advice and energies coming in from the universe for you, Libra. So, um, all right, uh, you are, I understand at the moment you're feeling quite deflated um, and there's a lot of heartache and loss, feelings of loss. Um, but um, the future is looking bright for you. If you can follow the um, messages and the advice from the universe in this reading, it's going to help you enormously. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Libra. I hope it's resonated with you and it's meaningful for you. It won't be meaningful for everybody, but it will be for a certain few of you. If you have enjoyed this reading, please, if you could like and press the subscribe button for me, that will notify you of future readings and it doesn't cost anything. And it will help my um, channel to develop as well. Um, I do private readings. and The information is below this video. Thank you for joining me, Libra. Um, good luck going forward. Do take care. Lots of love now. And do join me again. Bye-bye.